Hello, my name is Jordan O'Brien, and I'm an English tutor at the Perkins Online Tutor Lab. In this video, I'll show you how to log into Zoom, join a meeting using a Zoom PMI code, and how to use different tools and features inside of a meeting. First, let's log into Zoom. On your desktop or home screen, open the Zoom application. Enter the email associated with your Zoom account and your password, then click Sign In. From the Sign In page, you will be brought to Zoom's dashboard. From the dashboard, you can host a new meeting, schedule a meeting, create a screen sharing session, or join a meeting. On the menu bar above, you can access Zoom's chat function, see scheduled meetings, and manage contacts. For this video, I'll be focusing on showing you how to join a meeting. Let's click on the blue Join button on Zoom's dashboard. In order to join a meeting, Zoom needs a PMI code. PMI stands for Personal Meeting ID. You can think of the PMI like a phone number that we use to dial into a meeting. For convenience, Zoom stores PMI codes from previous meetings. I'm going to join this session. It looks like this tutor has enabled the waiting room option. This means that I can't enter the session until the host lets me in. Don't worry though, the host is notified when a user enters the waiting room. It's a good idea to test your sound devices when entering a meeting for the first time. I'm going to click on Join Audio in the bottom left, and then Test Speaker and Microphone. In this window, Zoom will test your playback device. This could be your speakers, headphones, or any other device you use to listen. If you can hear the ringtone, click Yes and move on to the next option. If you cannot hear the ringtone, click No and Zoom will automatically test the next playback device recognized by your system. Next, Zoom will test your recording device. Speak into your microphone. Zoom will then play back your message after a brief delay. If you can hear yourself, click Yes. If you cannot hear yourself, then click No until you find the right device. If everything works, click Join with Audio. And again. Now we're in the meeting with our tutor. If the meeting host has not set up video, you'll be greeted by this home screen. From the home screen, you can set up or join audio if you haven't already, share your screen with the host or other participants, and invite others. If you move your cursor into the home screen, you can see a black option bar appear at the bottom of the window. In the bottom left, there are two options for enabling or disabling your camera and your microphone. When you enter a meeting, it's a good idea to be mindful of your background noise. You can mute your microphone until you're ready to speak by clicking on the microphone icon. You can hold the spacebar to temporarily unmute yourself, or press Alt-A to toggle your microphone on or off. Likewise, you can toggle your camera on and off by clicking on the camera icon in the bottom left. Next, if you need to meet with a group of people, you can invite additional users into the meeting. You can invite people from your contacts, through Zoom rooms, and through email. I'm going to return to contacts and invite my cell phone to the meeting, which I have named Mr. Guy. Now I'll see who else is in the meeting by clicking on the Participants button. This will expand the window by opening a sidebar to the right. In the sidebar, you can see everyone connected to the meeting, as well as each person's microphone and camera status. If you need to alert the meeting host, you can click Raise Hand. A blue hand icon will then appear next to your name, and the meeting host will receive a notification. In the sidebar, you can also post messages or speak privately to individual users. To enable group chat, click on the chat button on the bottom option bar. You can change who sees your messages by clicking on this drop-down menu. Finally, I'm going to show you the Share Screen tool. In the Basic tab, you can choose to share your screen with other users in the meeting. With this option, everything on your screen will be visible to others, so make sure to show only things you want to be seen. You can also create and share a whiteboard. This is a useful tool if you need to write out some math problems or quickly brainstorm topics for an essay. If you don't want to share everything on your screen, you can limit Zoom to only share a certain window or program with other users. If you need to minimize the shared window, Zoom will pause the stream until you reopen it. In the Advanced tab, you can elect to share only a portion of your screen. You can move and expand the boundaries of this window wherever you need it to be. When you're ready to stop sharing, click on the red Stop Share button at the top of your screen. When you're done with your tutoring session, you may exit the meeting by clicking on Leave Meeting in the lower right. 